Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, a festival Hanukkah, a grouchy Festivus, and a good year of the bull. I don't know, is it the year of the bull in Chinese New Year? Today I'm going to talk about something that is very dear to my heart, the friend zone. For those unaware, friend zoning is the millennial term used to denote when you have been rejected by a female without your advances coming true. This sounds so creepy. Basically what happens is you're like, I like this girl, and then before you even get to ask her, she's like, I love you like a friend. It's very uncomfortable for guys because it's like, oh, but I like, but now there's no chance with, oh, okay. The thing is, a lot of people flip out about the friend zone, and I honestly think that the friend zone in general is just ridiculous. See, so many guys treat the friend zone as if it's like the ultimate evil in a friendship with a girl, but like, I'm here to say as a guy, I love the friend zone. See, you have to look at what exactly the friend zone is. It's the idea of like, oh, I'm only ever going to be able to be friends with this girl. Oh, woe is me. I will never be able to, you know, be her boyfriend or have us go any farther than friends. And that's a very bad thing because if you don't know that you have the ability to go farther with a the girl, then why would you even be friends with a girl? Just dump her at that point. Because that makes sense in a reasonable world. See, this whole idea is like, oh, the friend zone. Oh my goodness. It's so scary because I am unable to go farther with a girl than she wants. She wants to stay friends, I want to go further than friends. To like dating and then marriage because she pretty. See, this is the situation, is that guys aren't thinking that their friendship with a girl can simply be a normal friendship. And I think it might come from like a Hollywood idea where, oh, you can never really be friends without it leading somewhere else. Yeah, okay, that's just bogus. Take it from me. I have had so many friends who are just girls, either who are already in relationships or who have gotten into relationships while we're friends. Or even, you know, some people who it's like, oh yeah, she's pretty good. And then she gets in a relationship or just is like, you're the best friend ever. And it's like, that's, that's okay. And joking aside, like, it's honestly fine. I don't see an issue with being in the friend zone. But Connor, you intrepid viewer, are asking, how can you ever get to be in a relationship with a girl if you like the friend zone? Oh, what an ingenious question. Well, I shall tell you, it's because I just don't complain about the friend zone. It's not to say that I love the friend zone in any way, shape, or form. But I don't think there's an issue to say where it's like, oh no, I can only be friends with this person, that's bad. And so to answer the Hollywood stereotype, can guys and girls just be friends? I've talked about this before in AMAs. Yes, guys and girls can just be friends. So gentlemen, quit complaining about the friend zone and being just friends with girls because if you don't want to even be friends with them, how do you expect to ever get to know them before you date them? Or do you want to just jump straight into marriage? Yeah, let's go back to old times where, or even, heck, not even old times. I've met people, um, granted they are, pretty old, who have done arranged marriages, and like, that's not to say it's awful, but I certainly don't want that. But look, let's look at this honestly. Would I rather um, have the possibility of a girl saying, oh, we're only friends, or would I rather have my parents pick out a girl for me? Preferably not the latter. Not to say my parents wouldn't be able to pick out a great girl for me, it's just that like, I don't want them to. So that's pretty much this entire short episode is just me saying, hey guys, Stop complaining about being in the friend zone. Oh, dude, you got friend zone? Oh, man, that's so sad. No, stop complaining about it. Get off your butt and stop crying, you baby. That sounds really harsh, and it kind of is, but, like, come on, guys. If you're going to get, like, all sad about a girl saying, oh, you're such a great friend, that face pretty much says it, right? Like, that. look at that face that I just made. Like, ugh. That's an ugly son of a gun right there. That is an ugly thing. And yeah, I can, I'm not saying that it won't be hurtful, it will be hurtful, but at the same time, it's not to say, oh, I'm never gonna be friends with her because there's no chance of going any further. You clearly don't value your friendship enough, do you? Your friendship is only using her to hopefully get something out of it, namely intimacy. And as Gone with the Wind says, frankly, my dear, I don't give a harsh hurtin' a doodler doon. So yeah, guys, just stop complaining about the friend zone. That's pretty much all I have to say for this episode. And our Rise Up and Swag winner for this week is... is yeah so uh we don't actually have any winners this week because nobody actually sent me pictures so please send me pictures if nobody does i'm just gonna stop doing it and reinstitute it later on but i want to keep doing it so please send me pictures of you in a catholic t-shirt that could have sounded really weird send me pictures of you in a catholic t-shirt we'll put it up on the video for next week. I don't know what next week's video is. So if you have an idea of what you want me to do for next week's video, leave it down in the comments below. And thank you everybody so much for watching. And as it was in the beginning, is now never shall be. Rise of the Wind.